It's not often that the baseball community buzzes about a San Diego Padres player, let alone a rookie. But Jed Jerko made his much anticipated debut for the Padres in 2013. Now in the minor leagues, Jerko hit 321 with a 530 slugging percentage and a 916 OPS. He started off slow last year, hitting 247 in April, and he didn't homer until his 26th game, but things had started to turn for the rookie, and he was playing pretty well actually until mid-June when he hit the shelf with a groin injury. Now, when he returned from the disabled in mid-July, Jerko started off slow once again, but he closed his rookie campaign with a flurry, hitting 13 home runs with a 514 slugging percentage in his last 45 games. Now, the jerk finished his rookie season with a 249 average, 23 home runs, 26 doubles, and 63 RBIs. Now, if you're someone who's a stickler for a good strikeout to walk ratio, you're probably going to pass on my man Jed here because he struck out 123 times and drew just 33 walks in 125 games his rookie season. He did show a bit more patience though in the minors, so I would expect him to improve on that ratio in his sophomore year. Now, Jerko's going to be the starting second baseman for the Padres in 2014, and he'll qualify at both second base and third for most of you, which is a huge help when you're composing your roster. He has an ADP of 88, and he's currently coming off the boards as the seventh second baseman taken in mock drafts, and the tenth third baseman being taken in mock drafts. Now, Jerko's value lies as a second baseman, and he's got the power to hit 30 home runs, even in a pitcher-friendly ballpark. He doesn't run, but neither does Robinson Cano, and I don't see anybody shying away from him. But if Jerko hits 285 with 30 home runs as a second baseman, his runs scored and his RBI numbers should both approach 90, and you have the makings of a top four second baseman. Now, if you can get this jerk anywhere near pick 88, you're gonna have yourself a steal in this year's draft. My guess is, is that once spring training starts, Jerko will catch a tailwind, and if you play in a highly competitive league, I would absolutely be stunned if he was still around in the mid 80s. There is no way I'm letting him get past the fifth second baseman taken in any league I play in, and probably not the fourth.